This is a fairly brief video to go through some of the new features around the parameters and iLogic functionality in Inventor. So basically I've just got a part file here of a flange which is in progress and most flanges of this sort of type uh, follow a set of rules um, and the, the various sizes are usually sort of proportional. So what I'm going to do is create, I'll show you how I created it first. It's very simple, just three circles, one for the PCD and another two for the inside and outside of the flange. And I've just got a simple uh, formula there which governs the center, uh, the PCD of the holes and makes sure that it's always centered between the inside and outside. Now that could be any rule you liked. I've just I've just set that as an example. Now I'm going to go ahead and pattern these holes around the center. And rather than typing in a number of holes here, I'm going to define a parameter and I can now do that live while while typing it in. So I'm going to call that number holes equals and I'll give it a starting value say 5. Now as per normal if I go back into parameters and I change that number of holes to say 6 the model will update and I now have 6 holes. Now what you might like to do which you can now is set a number of configurable options for this flange, say that the number of holes which can only be one of a set number of values. So I'll go back into the parameters tab and what I can do is right click on the parameter and select make multi value. Now in here I can type a number of allowable values for this parameter. So four holes, five holes, I've already got seven, uh, six, so I'll put seven and eight, say. You can choose to allow custom values which don't fit one of these allowable ones, but I'm going to leave that off for now. And what you'll see now is I can select various values and you'll see the model will live update as I change those. Now, you may want to set something else like, say, the thickness of the flange. And just for example, this flange, perhaps you can choose one of a standard uh, number of thicknesses, or maybe you want one that is a, a non-standard thickness. Now, what I've done is created using iLogic, which is the new rules-based um, interface in Inventor is I've created a rule that looks like this and I've used a standard code uh, snippet from the wizard. You'll see that there's some wizards here for creating these rules and the one that I used was parameter limits. So this one here is set up to make sure that a height falls within a certain range of values. So I basically just copied that in here, I've changed it, instead of height, I've changed it to flange thickness. And I've said that when the, when the multi-value type is uh, set to standard, then if you type in a flange thickness which is less than 6 millimeters, it will automatically change that flange thickness to 6 millimeters, meaning that that is the, the minimum allowed. And it will also bring up a message box which will show that that's the minimum allowed value for the parameter. Otherwise, if the flange thickness is greater than 12 millimeters, then it will adjust it to 12 millimeters, which is the maximum. And as well as that, it will bring up a, a, a value a dialog box as well to warn you of that. Now, I don't need to give it any other case because I only want that behavior to happen if the flange type is set to standard. 
And what you'll see in the parameters is I've created a multi-value text parameter called type, which is what you've just seen referenced in the iLogic rule. And I've given that two values, standard or custom. Now what that allows me to do is if it's set to standard, as I've just explained, you'll see if I try to make this flange thickness something less than 6 or greater than 12, let's say 18, it won't allow me to and it'll bring up a warning. And it'll, it says here that the value will be automatically corrected to the maximum. And you'll see now it's adjusted that value to 12 millimeters. But I may choose to create this flange for whatever reason, say from three mil, three millimeter plate, um, which is less than the six millimeter minimum. If I try to do that, it'll warn me I can't. But I've created a custom value as well, which means that now if I change it to three millimeters, the rule is not in effect and it will allow me to change the thickness of that flange. Now this type value could then be used, say, anywhere else, even in a drawing, for example, which would mean that there'd be a flag on that drawing which says that the flange is not, not standard. And you might choose to have this um, as a note or perhaps a note only shows up if the flange is custom, which, which mentions that it's custom, or it doesn't if it's standard. I mean, it, it really, there is no limit to uh, what you can do with these, these values. But this, that's just a, a very basic example. And you'll see now, I've just changed back to standard and it's automatically then bumped it up to the minimum value of six millimeters. Well, that's a very brief introduction to iLogic and the new multi-value parameters. And I hope that's of some use.